Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In the fifth part of this Movie Edit Pro Plus tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add transitions between the different elements of your video on the timeline. So the first thing I want to do is add an end slide to the end of the video. So I'm going to drag and drop this end slide here and move it to the end of the video and I'm going to right click and go to photo length and make it 20 seconds long. So this will be the end of the video. Let's go back to the beginning of the video and we have an intro here and we have an intro slide and then we have the main content video, the tutorial itself and at the end we have the end slide right at the end of the video here. So the first thing we want to do is add a basic transition. There's quite a few different ways to do this. So the basic way that I normally do this is to take this intro slide the graphic itself and drag it so I'll left click and drag it into the intro animation so let's drag that into the animation and we'll see that they overlap and there's like a grey box here with a cross in it and that represents a transition so if we move the timeline to somewhere like this position and click the play we'll see that transition happen So we can see it's just a basic fading in and fading out. If I make that transition bigger, it will be easier to see. You can see that fade, but normally I'll have it fading quite quickly. You don't want the fade to be too long. So that's, that's just a basic fade in and out transition, one of the very basic ones. But there's many more transitions available on this software. So let's just save this project. And we'll go over to templates. And what I'll do here is select transitions from the drop down menu. And here we can see the transitions. There's quite a few available, they're all in different categories. And if you go to the store, you can purchase some transitions from here, some additional ones. But we'll focus on some of these ones that are free, but feel free to look at the store if you like. And in this example, I'm going to look at, let's say, for example, shape transitions here. So I'll click on shape transitions. And all of the different shape transitions are available here down the side. You can scroll and see all the different versions. And we'll drag and drop one example in. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this fire one, for example. So before I drag and drop it in, normally I click the play button to see what the transition looks like. You can see it's like this burn effect. And it will burn between the two different uh, contents on the timeline. So let's drag and drop that into... So I'm left clicking, drag and dropping it into this position here. And that transition will get applied to this duration, this fade duration here. So if we go to this position here and play, we'll see that burn effect. It's quite fast. So let's drag it out a bit more and we'll click the play button. We'll get to see that a bit more clearly. You can see that effect. So that's not really an effect I'll apply to my videos because they're more business related videos. So I'll find something that's more suitable. But you'll notice that there's a red dot here representing that, that particular transition is being used. So maybe I'll take a look at this circle effect. Let's play it. And it's quite a simple transition. So we'll drag and drop that into the same position. And it's going to use that transition and remove the previous one. So if we move the timeline to about here and click play, we can see that transition. I quite like that transition. So let's take the main video content and we'll drag that into this slide here. And when we move the timeline across, we'll move the timeline to here, we'll click play, we'll see the basic fade. And then I could pick a different transition, but I like my transitions to be consistent in the video. So I'm going to take this one and drag and drop it here as well. So let's move the timeline to about here and click play and we can see this transition happen. Hi and welcome to this DC and I think we can make that one a bit longer because it takes a bit of time for me to start speaking so let's play, play it again. Hi and welcome to this DC and that looks about right maybe a bit shorter something like this. So let's save this and we mustn't forget we've got an end slide so we're going to scroll right down to the end of the video and here's the end slide and we're going to drag that into the content as well to here. And we'll move our timeline so we can click above and move the timeline to this position and click play. Tutorial. And we can see that basic transition and we'll drag and drop this one into that position here as well. And click play one more time. I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.
Okay, cool. So we have all the transitions applied to the video. Let's save our work. And you can pick any transitions you want. You don't have to use the one I've used. And there's so many for you to select from here. So you can pick on, uh, you can click on other ones like, uh, let's say, this morphing one. And you've got like this paper plane. So it will take your video and turn it into a plane and then fly off into the distance. And there's loads of different examples. You have to play around and try and choose and pick them and see which one works for, for you in terms of your video content. So that's how you add transitions using Magic's Movie Edit Pro Plus to the different elements on the timeline. Okay, I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.